years into the expiration of the franchise agreement for Manhattan Neighborhood Network with RCN and with Time Warner. Furthermore, we used to have a program called the Community Media Grants where we gave away between one and two million dollars a year mm -hmm. to support individual nonprofits like the ones you mentioned in the Bronx, like the ones that are throughout Manhattan, so that they could have equipment, cameras and editing, mm -hmm. as well as staff to teach and empower their constituencies to make shows, higher quality shows than some other kinds of shows that go on m &N. but. Mm -hmm. That program, <coughs> it's my understanding, has been eliminated. Now again, we're not gaining ground, we're not building a satellite facility, we're not making those grants anymore, and we're losing ground. And now, it's my understanding that the franchise agreement has not been, you know, sort of continued, and I feel personally that there's some level of jeopardy, you know, between FCC hearings that have gone on that you know, I don't know all the facts, but how could someone like yourself, once elected as congressman, help individual citizens and producers like myself sort of slice through all of the lack of information and red tape to make sure that this facility lives and gets as fully empowered as it can be for the citizens of New York? We need to protect our, our rights to express ourselves. And as technology increases it's even more important for you know this 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 type of broadcast um, mechanism to, to 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 live because there's so many other ways that you can distribute those broadcasts now you can film it in the studio and then it goes viral and you actually can reach a much wider audience for the whole thing I think what we need though is we need champions on the ground who understand and and you know that's people on the street as well as our elected officials that this is something that is our right and it is something that we should protect because it is our way to communicate with the wider world of folks and you know I am um, we all look at television and we all like pass by the m &N stations and we actually always stop I know we always stop and say yeah, that was pretty interesting if we took it more seriously it goes back to the conversation about voting you know what I mean we should just be a little bit less apathetic about it we should invest more in these mechanisms that we have and you know I I will I believe in that process and I want to be a champion for those types of things those things that keep the balance between the everyday person on the street and the big business the Comcast of the world who actually you know show us a lot of shows that we like and a lot of sports programming that we like mm -hmm. but there has to always be that balance um, because that this is America and this is a democracy and we own the air rights and and uh, you know I can go down the list of the reasons why but we need to engage more people to become involved in the process and what I love about this is that you're engaging real people with real shows and that empowers other people to say that could be me and I could have my own show if they brought it to me so I you know I'm gonna be a champion getting that that station up the satellite station uptown and making sure that we have some good programming coming out of upper Manhattan so that we can inspire some more people to get out out there on the streets with us and fight for for more resources as we move forward Thank you.